So this is another video. Uh, Bill Henshaw for uh, you winning court. Uh, and I like him more of anything else because I, I, even though I stand as a man, he is challenging the constitutionality. And uh, apparently he's got some friends that's doing the same thing. Okay. And, uh, I guess this is kind of more of a little bit more of an update or, and of the Supreme Court's, uh, kind of denied this, but I think it's more of a, a clean up deal because I think I put this video out. Maybe, no, I don't think it was on YouTube, but I put it on Facebook, y'all. All right, so I'm not an attorney. Anything this guy says, um... I'm going to tell you it's just opinion on my behalf, whatever I say, uh, because, well, I'm not an attorney. <laughs> so don't get no legal advice from me, all right? Uh, but always stay on the lawful side, okay? Uh, I never look straight forward. I always look around me. I want to be able to protect myself by any means necessary, even if I have to use his process to benefit I. Okay, and uh, it's a learning video. Okay, so just to let you guys know, there is other uh, sources of knowledge out there, and you don't have to bank on paid government employees. Okay, all right, let's proceed forward. Saw here again, Constitutional Cook Headquarters. Just on the same day, the nine old parts are opening a new session in my former hometown of Washington, D.C. <clears throat> but we'll see if I bet the two leaves. Well, you know, I hope we see some changes and maybe big ones coming there. But the purpose of this video is to update you on my last video on this subject when my friend. Adam Berkey in Southern California sent a great petition in 166 pages. I get that. I write long documents like that, too. Got summarily returned by the clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court without being filed and without any justices even seeing it. He subsequently talked to this idiot on the phone and ordered him to file the documents, and he said he wasn't going to do it because Rule 1 of the U.S. Supreme Court gives him the authority to do what he did. Now, that can't be possible. Maybe it applies to the appellate jurisdiction. Maybe. Congress has some authority there that they should have, but they do have it. But for the court to make that statement, and I don't even know if the justices know, and as a result of this, he sent a letter by a restricted delivery to Clarence Thomas, and I sent one. Let's stop there for a second, okay? Uh, why couldn't uh, they do a, a, a complaint on the clerk there? Okay? And uh, I don't know. If the judges denied this request, I would do also... Uh, 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 probably a criminal complaint because they caused harm by not accepting uh, factual uh, paperwork. Okay, uh, I, it may just be a regular complaint, but if there's harm involved, then and they're keeping us in this uh, slavery 14th Amendment deal, then that's still causing us harm. So, let's see. Samuel Leto asking questions about this. I mean, this is impossible. We had better status than states do in that court. And when they file papers, in theory at least, until the last term, you know, they were mandatory, not discretionary. And Thomas and Alito both lit up about that and said, wait just a minute here. And I think the three Trump appointees are on board here at least, but they got told to stand down for the time being. But for us to have this happen, even if it's, but and it could have been worse, by the way, it could have been the FRCP promulgated by Congress, which has no members in the House or the Senate. But the Supreme Court rules 
you know, I don't think can do it either because that's effectively a suspension of the writ of habeas corpus, which is exactly what my friends submitted. And you can check it out, by the way. On by the way, they cannot do that. And there'll be some addition to it, quite possibly. His letter Constitutionally to speaking. Thomas and maybe mine to Samuel Alito in the mix. You know, restricted delivery. They personally have to sign for it. This hope that gets around that bastard clerk, I don't know who the hell he thinks he is. But it can't work this way if we have a nation and a republic of defined and limited powers. So this case could end up being a major breakthrough, not to mention other ones that both of us have on the way to the same court for other reasons. So I will keep you posted about that. You know, in fact, I think Alito, according to the post office, is scheduled to get his love letter tomorrow sometime. And we will see what happens. But for them to do that and say we don't have any remedies at all, in effect, concede that the Supreme Court is not a constitutional court. Yet it is the only one created by the Constitution. And the 9 old parts of the Supreme Court has ruled, albeit and accurately, in Kerry v. Curtis, 3 Howard 245, Congress has no duty to create any lower federal courts. Now, the reason for that, for those of you who don't know, the time they decided to carry was about 1842. And we still, ha at that time, had states admitted into this union. And they had federal district courts there that also had Article Three circuit court jurisdiction. So even if Congress didn't create them, they had them. And or the states themselves, uh, the state courts of common law general jurisdiction had concurrent federal jurisdiction. Case there is Claflin v. Houseman, 93 U.S. 130. Now we have nothing. And if we don't have the Supreme Court, less than nothing. And that's what we're asking them. What the hell is going on? This is some of the best paperwork I've ever seen. And my friend Adam does it in a lot more cognizable form, you know, to these public servants than what I do. And I may be changing a little bit the way I do things, but from my position, you know, principal and agent, we tell them what to do, not the other way around. We get that back, we're going to solve a lot of problems and very, very quickly. So that's the thinking that's necessary here. So I say there'll be an updated video on this as soon as events develop there. And with them back in session, who knows how long that might take, but at least they're there now. And they're going to have to answer and, and some more petitions that we're sending. And even better things I'll be talking about in upcoming videos, too, that may be our way out here. You're going to love all of it. Oh, that said, by the way, send me an email, youwinningcourt at gmail.com. I'll get you information about my modestly priced uh, constitutional defense document packets and some bonus documents for you to study with information you're going to love. And better yet, remember to subscribe, tell your friends, get the word out. The sooner we start working together across the board, Africans, Americans, and Asians, good status. Okay, so you guys probably need to watch this a couple of times, all right? So what we probably need to do, okay, either make phone calls or uh, write to Supreme Courts and find out why this has been Denied the Horpus Christi is, is uh, a really, really strong. Uh, I hate saying rights, but for y'all, uh, rights we have to get remedy. Okay, um, so I'm, I'm with this guy. I I can't see how this even clerk. Now, the last video I've seen, it, they talked about it. it, it they, she denied it because it didn't go through the uh, federal law. Well, a lot of federal laws is unconstitutional anyway. So, <laughs> but especially with the Hebrews uh, Corpus, all right, that is a very powerful uh, document in 160 something pages. Wow, y'all. Um, I like this guy here, but if there's somebody else that really did a good job and he's bragging about it, it has to be really amazing. And, uh, and when I get a chance, I may look up that uh, website 
and actually try to read it. I'm not much of a reader, and I had to take a period of time me to be able to read something like that. Because if I read it, I had to read it really slowly. And I probably would have to look up definitions of words. All right. And then I still got to figure out what definition is that one guy using and what definition the court's going to use. Uh, because the courts use tr uh, word magic. They use trickery. So, it's going to be an interesting deal. Uh, but if you guys happen to go on that one guy's website and read it and all that, uh, it may be one of them situations where we would actually have to call the Supreme Courts and uh, say, hey, how come you guys didn't accept this? And don't say federal law. That's a corpus Christus. That federal law don't even have to be involved in this. Huh. Interesting. Good court, good issues. The quicker we get the bastards off our backs. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> My videos are always way longer than his. But, all right. I mean, <laughs> I know some of you guys don't really understand what's going on, uh, but in short, the Supreme Court or that clerk should not have denied this at all, did not have any lawful standing. Now, it may have legal. I don't know about that uh, because U.S., uh, Supreme Court's opinions and all that. That is still under the U.S. Uh, okay? Uh, the original Constitution is the United States. So if you, if you really look up on some of these things, they got some Supreme Court opinions or rulings, however you want to look at it. United States versus George or, you know, or this, that, here, and there. But then you got other ones that says U.S. versus Thomason or something like that. So why is it United States on some and U.S. on others? Riddle me that. This will be the People News. Bye, y'all.